Hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today we will be talking about another control in Pega that is uh, uh, external web component. So yes guys, we are going to discuss on external web component. So we have to drag this particular web component into our U section. So I had just created a section called collect personal details. So into that when you will just drag and drop you will be able to open this whole section and you can see uh, the three four main tabs here that is general presentation parameters and actions so what you will be seeing here is uh, it is called uh, a section that is this one that is px information mashup what it contains px information mashup So this in turn uh, contains the whole section and which which is having the connect and disconnect and this is the configure with masher. This is the section which is called as PX information masher. Okay, the next important thing we have to look into it is uh, parameters. Okay, so inside parameters we are having two main thing that is one is mashup content and authorization content. So for these two things, what we need to create is one is uh, how to create mashup content and another one is authorization content. So this authorization content is again using a section which you will be uh, seeing in this one. How it looks, I will just show you. So this is the PX mashup authorization section which is having an image here and a connect option. So this connect is having some action set which will be again having a activity so these are all ootb which we did not create it it was already present in this and to open a url in the window so you can just look into it what exactly it contains so you here you have seen how the px mashup authorization section also looks like so these are few important things to be looked into in in cell properties of uh, uh, this uh, web control uh, so next will be important thing to discuss is for these cell properties what how we have to create this mashup so creating this mashup i have gone through the pdn site of pega so i have got the whole uh, settings what we have to do so from here if you can see we have to uh, first navigate through app studio so just going into the app studio so when you'll go into app studio uh, the whole concept is like we need to generate an html file so that it will be uh, hosted in some server and finally after the connect uh, button is clicked from the authorization screen it will go to the screen next displayed which is already hosted on the server so that is how it will work is my understanding and for that first we need to go into channel this is already i have created so that is getting open directly so when you go into the channels and then click on the web mashup you will see some uh, basic options configurations and uh, main uh, save option and generate mashup code so these are the mashup codes for uh, different devices for functionality so this basic op uh, options what you need to fill and what it has to be everything is given in the pdn site which you can go through so i will open what i had already created so that it will be quick for your understanding as well this was a facebook item similar to what pdn example had given so this example also had given a facebook i mean feedback item something and etc so same thing i had made use of and did that so for that i kept facebook item just as a option i mean caption so you can see the other settings are like create new case student these are all configuration from this url so creating new case and having this thread name and this is the whole uh, skeleton of this and everything is similar to the settings given already so when we will uh, set this whole thing and click on the save button here it will be saved and finally you can generate the mashup code so the whole mashup code looks like this you can just copy these things both the things and store in an html file i had stored like this so you can see the whole uh, 
HTML for a file from top to bottom I have been storing storing stored like this so yeah after that you can preview your application how it will look okay so you just preview and see how it will look yeah this is the whole uh, application will look like right now I have opened the case maybe that's why this portal has come like that see yeah this is open that's why okay so next is uh, coming back to the designer studio i mean dev studio so now the thing is uh, you can see here in the settings parameter settings i have made use a uh, authentication profile which is o otb auth authentication i have just made use of that and uh, client configuration i have done some custom i have use of and this client identifier and secret code you can keep anything here so and this is the endpoint configuration this i have given uh, similar to the setting given in pdn so this example.com i don't have any server so and it it only accepts the http uh, starting from so i had just used this one for now for you to understand and the whole setting other things i have not touched it is as it is and this is the whole setting of uh, authorized, I mean, authentication profile for uh, web control. And this is some repository name, default store this also. This is a section which I have created. This section will hold our whole UI HTML file in HTML. So just save this one and then you have to run this. So you can actually check how the HTML will look like. So I can just run and show you how it will come. So when you execute it, it will show like this. So this is a page will be hosted by Mashup. So this is a whole screen. So this whole screen, HTML screen, you can host in any of the server domain if you have it. So what I will show you is because I don't have any server. So I will just uh, show you in this domain by editing it so you can see how the portal will look like now uh, the portal i have run a case and if i click a connect button it will open the example domain which is given at the authentication here and one more thing what you have to do in the application as well you have to place it in your uh, application that is in integration and security just for the trusted site so you have to put as it is a trusted site and then you can just run and check so when you connect it it will go to that example 443 and you can incorporate if you owning any server so i don't have so people who are aware of the uh, function f2l and making some changes in the uh, in the html inspector by editing this file edit as html and you can, you can place the whole file here so it will be like div division tab and then placing the whole html file here control a c So yes, I have placed it here as you can see and I will just close this developers and you can see the whole page is getting populated which we have got it in a web mashup. So this is how it will look after incorporating is. So this is a whole integration between the web page and our Pega application. I mean web component wise. So this is my understanding. I have gone through a lot of uh, search, but I could not find. Finally, I could only find the PDN notes. Through that, I have used this one. So let me know if I am right or if I am going wrong in my understanding anyway. Just let me know in the comment box so we can both learn together. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for watching.